anatomy of dicotyledonous and monocotyledonous plants. Dicotyledonous root. There are three main parts of a dicotyledonous root. These are 1. Epidermis, 2. Cortex, and 3. Steely. The internal tissue organization is as follows. The outermost layer is epidermis. Many of the cells of epidermis protrude in the form of unicellular root hairs. The cortex consists of several layers of thin-walled pharynchyma cells with intercellular spaces. The innermost layer of the cortex is called endodermis. Next to endodermis lies a few layers of thick-walled pharynchymatous cells referred to as pericycle. The pharynchymatous cells which lie between the xylem and the folium are called conjunctive tissue. All tissues on the inner side of the endodermis such as pericycle, vascular bundles and pith constitute the stele. Monocotyledonous root the internal structure of a monocotyledonous root has three parts. These are 1. Epidermis, 2. Cortex, and 3. Stele. Monocotyledonous stem The monocot stem has a sclerenchymatous hypodermis and a large number of scattered vascular bundles. It contains a large amount of pharynchymatous ground tissue. The vascular bundles are surrounded by a sclerenchymatous bundle sheath. Vascular bundles are conjoined and closed, but there is no flow in parenchyma. Water containing cavities are present within the vascular bundles. Dorsiventral leaf. Dicotyledonous leaf. The transverse section of a dorsiventral leaf shows three main parts, namely 1. Epidermis, 2. Mesophyll, and 3. Vascular bundles. 1. Epidermis. The epidermis is of equal cell thickness. The epidermis in the upper part of the leaf is called upper epidermis, while that of the lower surface is called lower epidermis. The stomata are more in the lower epidermis than the upper. Two, mesophyll. The tissue between the upper and lower epidermis is called the mesophyll. It has two parts, the palisade, parenchyma, and the spongy parenchyma. The cells of the palisade parenchyma are elongated and vertical. They have a large number of chloroplasts which take part in photosynthesis. The cells in the spongy parenchyma are arranged randomly. They have fewer chloroplasts and it mainly helps in gaseous exchange. 3. Vascular bundles The vascular bundles in the leaf are arranged in the form of veins. They provide strength to the leaf. The vascular bundle is round with xylem towards the upper epidermis and the phloem to the lower. They don't have a wall dividing them. Isobilateral leaf, monocotyledonous leaf. The anatomy of an isobilateral leaf is similar to that of the dorsiventral leaf in many ways. The stomata are present on both the surfaces on the epidermis. 
the mesophyll is not differentiated into palisade and spongy parenchyma. Large colorless cells called bulliform cells absorb water and expose the leaf surface. They reduce the loss of water. Isobilateral leaves show parallel venation.